It's a monumental building that literally required a monumental move. The Sustainment Center of Excellence Building, or SCO as it is affectionately known, is nearing completion and represents a dramatic change in how the Corps builds structures. It's unique because this was actually a design-build pro project, unlike the uh, mill cons and other types of projects. Design-build means that instead of the Corps dictating exactly how the building is going to be designed and built, private industry had a much larger stake in designing and building the project. Our construction uh, contractor was actually part of the design or uh, was very active in the design and in the aspect that he's the one who actually hired the A&E to make the design so we were designing in motion. The result of the design build process meant what used to take years to design became a matter of months with a higher quality end result. We were able to actually raise the quality of construction and keep everything moving and bring the building in on time and at budget. For officials at Fort Lee, SCO represents what people would see in a downtown type setting. I call it the corporate logistics headquarters. And, and the reason I call it that because you also equate it to what's on, out in the economy as well. And it really is something that when you look at CEOs and, and the like, you're saying is you relate to a corporate headquarters. So that's going to be the corporate headquarters for Fort Lee. SCO also incorporates many intricate design features which are not only aesthetically pleasing, but functionally serve as a force protection device or makes the building more environmentally friendly. Everything from metal sun visors, biocells that recover storm water, highly reflective glass and a white roof with extra insulation to reflect the sun's rays and heat, to direct digital lighting controls, motion sensors, and progressive collapse design, which means that if something catastrophic were to happen to the building, it would fall in such a way as to save the most amount of lives. For Lynn, SCO's completion on time and on budget would not have been possible had it not been for the team of contractors and Norfolk District staff that worked on it. I had a superior team to work with. When officially complete, the building will be a place where general level officers and senior executive staffs can conduct their day-to-day -day business in a world-class, state-of-the-art facility. I can tell you that it's a superior building and it will provide the function and means that they need to, to do their jobs. For the Army Corps of Engineers, Norfolk District, Patrick Bloodgood.